I could just sit here, I guess, for two hours. Together with Mere, I'm staying a weekend in Drenthe, in the north of the Netherlands. We've got our own holiday house, which gives us plenty of time to explore the area. Many forests, sand fields, and dolmens. It's the second day. Yesterday we uh, ended up nicely at the fire and we both had a bath, <laughs> warmed up. And today we decided to go for a walk because it's still kind of cloudy and the forest is just behind the holiday house. And we just ended up in this very rough part. You don't really see that a lot in the Netherlands, like a really rough forest because everything is kind of handmade. You know, most trees are planted and yeah, you see a lot of forests that are really organized in the Netherlands. But this part here reminds me a bit of Ireland. It's really green and wild and there's stuff growing everywhere. I guess for two hours and uh yeah and, and we just met someone she was there with three dogs and one of them was kind of afraid of us and she said yeah I'm always here on my own so they're not used to meeting people over here time for a tea and then we go on So although this forest looks really wild, it was actually all planted. Um, yeah, they used oxes to clear the fields uh, because it was all really well rough landscape. So they used oxes and then they planted this whole forest. And that was in the 30s that they planted this. So that's why now, around 80 years later, it became really natural again. And, you know, the Dutch people loved really organized forests, but now it's it's kind of coming back that we, we like it when it's more wild. And you can really see that here, that the forest keepers make it more wild. You know, they keep, when trees fall down, they, you can see over here that they just keep them there. And then you, you get more, this more, natural vibe. I mean, of course the forest is natural, but if it's all organized, you can really see it's planted. And now because they keep all those trees on the ground, you get new life there, insects are making, you can see a lot of little holes, insects are living in there. And then a lot of birds come that eat those insects. Uh, so yeah, there's loads of birds. We see finches and 
robins and you can hear them all the time. It's really, really peaceful. And this is one of the stalls while it's being rebuilt where uh, the oxes could rest. And now pedestrians and cyclists can shelter over here. Okay, go back on the track. Pingo, once formed in a permafrost environment, when the pressure of freezing groundwater pushed up a layer of frozen ground. When the ice melted, a deep crater remained. It's a beautiful walk and a beautiful bike ride. Two full days and okay, it starts raining again. The weather wasn't that great, but still it was just good to be outside. You know, when I would have been home, I probably would have stayed inside the whole time. But then when you're away, you're in a holiday house, you're in a beautiful area, you, you just go cycling, you go for a walk. And then, you know, just, you know, it doesn't rain as much as you, thought it would be and it's still great to be outside and especially to have a hot bath in the evening um, which you don't have when you're camping but here we had a hot bath uh, so that was really really good thank you for watching i hope you like this video if you do if you did like this video please put your thumbs up and you can subscribe below as well and uh, it would be great if you can comment and tell me what you thought about this video it's uh, raining. <laughs> okay, thank you. Happy cycling. See you next week. Bye. As you can see, there's an old, well, horse tr tram over here. Yeah, it is an, an authentique paardentram. For one heeft deze paardentram ook echt in Delft uh, gereden en gefunctioneerd als tram. Nou ja, daar hoort dan dus ook wel een beetje een speciaal paardenras voor. Niet gewoon het normale paard. Um, dus zo is er toen ook gekozen voor een ander paardenras, dus het Franse paard. Het Franse Percheron is dit. Uh, schofthoogte van 1,90. Dus echt onwijs groot. Zwaar. Ja. 1000 kilo. Zo. Uh, die heeft een, nou, een paar weken geleden heeft hij op de weegschaal Staan. Dus vandaar dat we ook echt weten dat het 1000 kilo is. En um, ja, met z'n tweeën, geen familie van elkaar. Nee. Wel even oud, allebei uh, 13 jaar. En, ja, doen ze het werk. Ze hebben hiervoor samen in Frankrijk gewoond en nu dus uh, samen in Nederland. Ja. En hoe heten ze? Hugo en Ulysse. Ja. En dan is de linker is Ulysse en de rechter is Hugo. En ze willen graag gaan lopen, of niet? Ze, ze houden van werken, ja. Stilstaan is niet zo sterk. Stilstaan houden ze niet nee. van. Uh... Nee. Nou, dankjewel. Ja, graag gedaan. Succes. <laughs> dankjewel.